My name is Ralph Morelli. I teach computer science at Trinity College in Hartford, Connecticut. We have, um, we call it a CS0 course that each faculty member teaches their own variation of it using their own languages um, and focusing on their own area. So the theoretician focuses on theory. I focus on AI, artificial intelligence, or, or other things I'm interested in. And um, lately I've been focusing on open source and free and open source software and applying that to humanitarian causes, humanitarian in the broad sense. So, um, but this semester, uh, when I found out about App Inventor, I thought, well, this is a, a great way to introduce the idea of open source because it, it is being, it is an open source product and also opens up all new ranges of humanitarian or, or socially useful applications that the students can do. And of course, they all have cell phones and they, they love cell phones, so um, they took to it right away and it, and it worked out real well. I had them do three major, three main products, uh, projects. And uh, the first one, they, the first one was a game, uh, which wasn't, I, I said it should have some social, social usefulness to it. And they, so they were a little creative in what that meant for a game. But uh, the second one was actually the dean of our first year program saw how much uh, fun we were having, because she's right down the hall. And she said, uh, would, you, would your students be interested in doing a, uh, an app for um, helping us um, teach the campus, locations on campus to new students? So a location aware app. And so that's what they did for their second project. So they, they developed maps of the Trinity campus. They developed something like Google Latitude, where they know where each other, their friends are on campus. And um, that was very interesting because the math on some of that, um, you know, location aware, mapping the, your geographical location to a, an actual image on the screen can be quite tricky. And I didn't, I, I gave them a basic introduction to that, but I didn't work out any of the details of that. So they had to work on that themselves. Um, and then the third project was they had to, they could do whatever they wanted, but it had to again be something that would be socially useful. So those ranged from teaching American Sign Language to um, more the fully developed uh, guides to campus um, and things like that. It's really interesting because the, the course I taught last semester wasn't for CS majors. It was for, there was no prerequisite to it. And many students take a course like that to avoid taking a math course, so it's an alternative. But they actually did math um, to solve the problems that they thought were interesting, like the uh, trying to map their location on campus. Um, another example was an, an app to uh, measure or estimate the height of trees. So the environmental science uh, colleague of mine asked us to help him do that for a lab he teaches, uh, where each year they catalog, they measure the girth and the height of the trees on campus and you know, uh, keep this data over years. Well, they usually use you know, um, angle, I don't even know what it's called, and they, what they do is they pace off their distance from the tree and then they measure the angle and you can use some simple trigonometry to then estimate the height of the tree by the um, you know, uh, Pythagorean theorem. So uh, we built an app that actually did that for him and he used it for the first time and it was incredibly useful to him because usually it would take him two weeks after the lab to get the data from the students into his spreadsheet. But this way the data was immediately available to him right in the class after they went out and did their trees. And he could then talk about errors in the data, you know, because of, um, you know, uh, they're getting the measurements wrong. What was really interesting was my students, the ones that wrote the app, really learned the science and the math involved in it. They had to. They had to write the app. The potential for App Inventor is um, really, really exciting. One of the projects we're just starting on um, now is uh, we're going to try a, an approach called place-based education. I'm partnering with a teaching college 
a teaching colleague from the Greater Hartford Academy of Math and Science, which is right across the campus from Trinity. Her name is Chinma Uche. She teaches math and computer science there. But we're aiming to focus this more broadly, and the idea being that um, using the mobile device as an educational tool where students in, say, history could write an app for the phone that would teach um, them about their neighborhood, historical uh, events that occurred there, or interesting landmarks, or an environmental science um, students could use it to, say, catalog um, blight or pollution spots in the neighborhood. Or you could use it to help educate families about nutrition by, um, you know, uh, calorie counters and things. So these are all ideas actually students themselves have come up with. And so we're looking to see ways that we can not only introduce computing, but computing more broadly as a, as a way to learn other subjects. And I think it lends itself to that. Together with some other people, I direct a project called the Humanitarian Free and Open Source Software Project, the goal of which is to teach computing by getting undergraduates engaged in building software that's socially useful. Um, and so, you know, we've been doing apps for community organizations such as the Red Cross. Another one we've worked on is the Sahana Project, which is a disaster management and recovery system, all using open source software. So we've always had, for the last five years, we've had that focus. And App Inventor has just opened up whole new realms. Uh, we've been developing an Android um, f directly for four years. Um, in, in particular, right now, we're working on an Android app for uh, a humanitarian organization in Haiti. This app is going to uh, help them deliver their uh, services to this organization. Of they, they service something like 15,000 beneficiaries throughout Haiti. And that's built in Android, but um, our students have started to build apps now in App Inventor that are going to be deployed in Haiti. For example, uh, the director of this organization said it would be really neat if we had an app that could um, uh, report the rainfall in these d uh, rurally distributed rainfall gauges immediately through SMS, uh, text messages. And so over, we had a random hacks of kindness event in uh, Hartford a couple of weeks ago, and our one group of students wrote that app. It's now being brought down to Haiti in, uh, next week. So, so yes, App Inventor is more broadly uh, applicable, I think, to a whole range of interesting problems and opens up a lot of potential.